Mike Hamilton, Lithia Toyota. Going into 2023 model year, Toyota's going to be in his fifth year of his current generation. What is Toyota doing new to keep this vehicle fresh? And when is a new uh, remodel or a new refresh, a new generation going to come along? I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, this current generation of Camry has been around since 2018. It's the, uh, this is the, the SE grade, which is the second level, but with some extras on this one here. This one has uh, moonroof, sunroof on it and a couple other extra features. So I will go over that, what it has and the features. But this has the, the uh, a paint job um, that I've only seen on this vehicle on the Camry, which is, is known as Ice Edge. So it's hard to really uh, uh, describe it unless you've seen it in person, um, but it's kind of a off-white, it's, it's different. I think this would be a, a cool color if we had this on the uh, TRD Pro as a color for this year, be, or one of the years, this would be a pretty cool color to have. Um, as a TRD Pro color because it's kind of a grayish white. It's a little different. It's a little off-white. Um, but anyways, let's go over what this vehicle has and uh, talk about the future of the Camry and what's going to go on and maybe why this is a good option for you instead of trying to buy an electric vehicle that will cost a tremendously amount of more money because I was just checking in that to myself today and I will talk about that a little bit. If you were ever wondering what the number one midsize selling the sedan has been for 21 years in a row, you're looking at it right here. That's the Toyota Camry. Number one selling midsize sedan in the United States and North America for many years running this uh, generation. Uh, currently has ran since 2018. There's been some upgrades to it. Um, some of the more significant things is a more upgraded Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. It gives you adaptive cruise control, smart stop, pre-collision, lane departure, lane trace assistant, pedestrian detection, cyclist detection, large animal detection are part of this uh, here. They have added over the years. Um, we do have high beams and low beams that are LED now. Um, and you got this honeycomb uh, fascia on here, and this is the sports edition, so a little bit more aggressive looking front end and grill, a little bit more bold looking. Again, this is the lower level to the XSE, so a value line XSE that gives you um, some of the features, but not all the features of the XSE without that XSE pricing. Uh, the SE rim on here, it's a good looking rim. Um, and then you do got uh, turn signal indicators on your mirrors here. A little baby wind vortex generators that's cute to just whatever they could do to try to get a bit a little better fuel economy now this is a uh, smart key and it also does uh, open and doors push start but it also has a remote start on it so let me uh, show you that lock lock third time until until you see that mirror start blinking there you go so remote start you know, I could turn it off by just hitting the unlock. Uh, showing you how this thing locks and unlocks. Put my fingers on these two notches. And unlock it and just put my hands on the door. All right, let's take a look on the inside here. So we do have soft touch here and three different shades of gray. So a dark gray, a lighter gray, which is this is plastic, and then a light gray for your armrests there. Um, coming on to the inside here, this is the injection foam uh, dash there. That's all soft touch. A um, little bit of faux carbon fiber look here. Uh, so the soft touch again. Uh, wherever they have hard plastics, they put a uh, natural leather pattern in it to, to mimic uh, leather. Uh, being this is the SE and not the XSE, so you have a synthetic soft text uh, leather edge with a cloth center insert in here. Um, and only one uh, power seat, which would be the drivers. Now, the XSC would have dual power seats. These are uh, also not heated or ventilated, which you get heated and ventilated seats on the uh, XSE. This one is an upgrade. It does have the moonroof sunroof on here. 
um, let's go ahead and move to the to the window sticker here and go over what this car is this is a Camry SE sedan it's got the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine on an eight-speed transmission making 203 horsepower 184 foot-pounds um, and then you got the basic price and then there's some packages and accessory add-ons so it's got the convenience package which gives you that smart key with home link uh, auto dim review mirror uh, blind spot monitoring is on this we're cross traffic alert uh, power tilt sliding moonroof sunroof all weather floor liners and cargo tray are part of this um, really nice roomy back seat here uh, cup holder in the door armrest two seat backs with pockets i'll get on the other side cut another armrest with cup holders um, no power uh, ports or air uh, vents for the rear there uh, but there's power ports inside that center console um, let's move to the back really nice size uh, trunk on this one here um, you could do open this up through the key fob and then inside here we have our all-weather cargo tray our floor mats to be installed those seats will fold uh, down for uh, more pass-through if necessary but this is a really good size trunk here it only comes with one uh, camera which is your backup camera and then you have your rear air diffuser down there with uh, dual uh, it's not dual exhaust but dual exhaust tips uh, a little baby rear spoiler shark fin that supports XM radio Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and then this is the side where the fill door is for the putting fill in it come into the inside I had that seat back for me so you can see how much room and as I am six foot two move the lockbox out of the way that's what we keep our keys in um, even with that seat all the way back from me I still have an inch or so of room here and plenty of room for a, a six foot adult to be sitting behind another six foot adult so you have teen kids uh, this will be roomy enough and comfortable enough for them and let's go ahead and move on moving back over to the Monroney sticker five car star crash safety in every type of crash you could be in this is one of the safest vehicles that you could be in period um, this you can't get better than five stars and it has in every single category it's 10 airbags in this vehicle fuel economy and this is why i don't believe an electric crossover would be a better option if you're trying to save money because of the cost of electric crossovers run 45,000 on up um, so when you come out to how much you're getting in fuel economy over 30 miles a gallon and the price on this one is 30,418 after destination that you could even get this less if it's an LE or an SE with uh, less equipment that um, to make up $15,000 or $20,000 would take uh, more than a decade to do so um, and then by that time batteries start to deteriorate on those electric batteries and um, you'll never see the savings and I want to make a point again you do have turn signal indicators so when you're merging in on the highway uh, those will be safer for you blind spot monitors again and then rear cross traffic alert is in the back of that bumper there so when you're backing out of a space uh, that sonar sees around the corners for you and alerts you of a car coming or somebody walking um, so you don't back up and hit somebody or somebody hits you let's go ahead and come to the inside here everything we saw on the other door is the same here except for this has four power windows power locks power mirrors um, and then you have eight-way adjustable power seats with power lumbar on this side for the driver you got some extras on here this is our auto dimming high beam for our toy safety sense or this is our button to open up our uh, trunk there and then we have our fill door release there let's go ahead and move to the inside Let's take a look at the startup sequence. Setting this over to wide, get that closer. So it'll give you push the foot on the brake, push the power button. And then you got the same thing. You got two startup sequences. So it just has Camry over there. So let's go over this real quick and show you the uh, the steering wheel so you got a leather wrap steering wheel really nice feels great to the touch 
This is our toggle that controls our, all our Toyota safety sense and uh, all the features. So let's say you got lane departure alert with uh, steer assist and lane trace assistance, pre-collision systems. Um, you got the blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic alert. Um, you have the, uh, the cameras that read the speed limits as you go by. So all those features in there. You got uh, trip information, miles, uh, fuel economy has two miles on it. So I mean fuel economy, eco, digital miles per hour. This is your lane departure and adaptive cruise control screen. If there's a problem with the vehicle, it tells you what is the problem be on this screen. And then back over digital miles per hour, let's move on. So this is uh, supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto XM radio, um, all part of this here. So it does a wireless maps and it doesn't have built in integrated maps. Um, then you have you get XM radio, FAM, FM, and Bluetooth are all part of this too. And then down below, we have a dual climate control here um, and fan speeds, different flows of air, uh, his and hers for the climate control, uh, front defrost, rear defrost, uh, rear defrost, and heated mirrors on here, inside outside air. Um, the premium level would come with up with a. Uh, with a, power, a wireless charging for your cell phone there, Qi Wireless. This does have the paddle shifters for sequential shifting, eight-speed automatic with sequential shifting. That could be done from here, or it could be done from the uh, paddle shifters there. And it does have drive modes. You have a normal, eco, and a sport mode on this thing here. A couple cup holders. And again, there's a, a USB-A and a USB-C inside the center console uh, to bring out power to the back there. You do have... Auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for your garage door memory sets. Up on top, we have our controls for our moonroof and sunroof. And, and we have light, our lighting here that is LED lighting inside the, for the reading lights. So we got LED lighting as part of the standard lights in this now and a more incandescence. Um, and then you have your SOS button that handles a few different features. The first one is if you're in an accident where airbags deploy, this thing has a mobile cell phone built into it. So your cell phone would probably fly somewhere, may not be easy to find. Um, you could, this thing will make a call if the airbags deploy to the call center, alerting the call center that you need help, that you've been in an accident. They'll be reaching out to you through the PA system, or you could push it if you're in an emergency. That's for the life of the vehicle with no charge. If uh, um, you have a flat tire, ran out of gas, a lockout, no, you wouldn't be pushing for a lockout, but it has also roadside assistance that do a bunch of different features. That's a three-year trial. And then stolen vehicle locator is a three-year trial also with this vehicle. So really nice features that are given to you on this. And then the nice 2.0 Toyota safety sense. Mike Hamilton again, Lithia Toyota. So couple uh, things that I've heard about the uh, 23 mile year Camry is there's going to be a new nightshade color or a different blue color that uh, I hear about a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, possibly the new Toyota uh, software up air updatable system may go into these vehicles. So we'll see, but um, you know, there's not a whole bunch of information that I've heard yet about the Camry. Camry is still a huge seller and still doing really well. And kind of analytics on changing the vehicle, it, other than the customers want something fresh, is that the sales have to slide, and that's what uh, when they start trending downwards is when uh, manufacturers start looking at remodeling and uh, rebuilding the vehicle. Uh, so hopefully within the, the next year or two, we're going to start seeing um, uh, probably a new Camry redesign. I know they've been working on a lot of other vehicles. I mean, there's just a, a huge list of vehicles. You have the BZ4X, the Corolla Hatch, GR Corolla Hatch coming out. The, uh, um, you have the Corolla Cross, a brand new model with the hybrid coming out later on this year. Uh, you have a brand new Tundra, a brand new Sequoia. Um, here and down the through the grapevine and looking at a new forerunner and a new Tacoma soon so Toyota's got a full plate of vehicles that they're remaking and remodeling so um, maybe this vehicle has been very uh, popular and still doing quite well that maybe it's a little bit on the back burner but uh, sure enough Toyota will get around to redesigning and remodeling it as like 
right now it seems like the the push is everybody wants some sort of a crossover suv sedans are not nearly as popular even though this is still selling quite well um it, it's down from its uh super highs that it had as the uh people looking at these crossovers as they're getting a lot better fill economy now anyway so thank you for watching we'll see you next time